hey everybody welcome in this video we are going to discuss ip tables okay so ip tables are just nothing but a set of rules which define your network's behavior your machine's behavior um, on your network okay so let's start it let's just uh, you know write here the command to view the ip table so in order to view the ip table you need to write here sudo ip tables negative capital l or hyphen capital l so if you hit enter it asks you for the password you put in your password and now you can see that we have three chains so right now the ip table is empty so you can see this is the first uh, chain the input chain we call it then the second chain that we have is the forward chain we call it a forward chain then we have the output uh, chain we call it the output chain all right so the idea is that whatever rules you will give to this in this ip table your machine will absolutely follow it so this input rule or the input policy is for uh, sending the traffic uh, to itself like your machine right now uh, whatever input it is taking like if, if you send traffic you're sending traffic from your own machine to your own machine is called as the input chain so whatever rules you will set here they will be for your own machine or for your own local host so then we have the uh, forward let's come to forward uh, later let's discuss the output chain so what it does that whatever the traffic you would send from your machine to some other machine out there in the world or out there on the network that would be the output chain okay so you can set and define rules uh, for dealing with the output traffic from here the traffic that you're sending from your machine to the outside world to any other machine okay so in this case you are sending traffic from your machine to outside world to any other machine in this case you're sending traffic from your your machine to your own machine okay so there is no difference it's like sending traffic to your own self and this forward thing uh, the forward chain it represents like uh, you can say that if your ubuntu machine is acting like a mid machine like you're receiving like you can say you can call it a gateway you are receiving the traffic from uh, one machine but you're acting as a gateway and you're sending you are just a source for sending the traffic to another machine okay so basically you can imagine it as the three machines involved so uh, machine number one machine number two and machine number three so let's say you are machine number two so your ubuntu machine is machine number two so machine number two receives the traffic from let's say machine number one and then it becomes a gateway and sends the traffic to the machine number three so basically machine number three is the destination and machine number one is the source and your machine machine number two is the gateway so that is basically the explanation of forward chain so let's now go ahead and let's try to write a few rules and let's try to change them so for input chain the input chain example is like our local host so uh, let's try to send traffic to our local host to our own self so we write here 127.0.0.1 let's say we hit enter and you can see we have started sending requests and the packets to our own self i press ctrl c and you can see that we have sent eight packets to ourself so let's say we define a rule here and uh, we do not want to send any packet to ourselves so we define a rule and we drop the packets that we intend to send to ourselves so we set a rule in the ip tables for that okay so you can set multiple rules if you want to so i write here uh, so let me clear it first so i write here sudo ip tables and now I'm going to define some rules. So negative A is for 
or hyphen a is for defining rules so the rule that i'm defining is for input then i'm going to write the destination and negative d is for destination then i'm going to write here 127.0.0.1 which is my own machine local uh, host you can say okay so then after that what i'm going to do that i'm going to write here uh, the protocol that i want to influence which is essentially icmp and then the functionality that i want to perform with the traffic which is essentially drop so after writing that i hit enter and you can see that this command has been executed successfully so now if i check uh, my ip tables i go on i check my ip tables and you can see that this is a rule that has been added to my input chain right so uh, we are going to perform these rules for uh, you know input and output okay uh, so now we have done it for input so now what i'm gonna do that uh, let's try to ping let's try to send the traffic to ourselves and let's see what happens now okay so we hit enter and now you can see that uh, we are waiting and waiting and waiting but it is not sending any traffic to itself my machine right now okay so i press ctrl c and you can see that 13 packets have been transmitted but zero packets have been received like it it has sent the packets but none of them has has been received all of them has been dropped okay because uh, i have set the rule to drop so remember that we have sent packets but they are all dropped so traffic is sort of dropped we have sent the traffic but it is dropped i am repeating that over and over again so so you know so that these concepts could get to your subconscious so you do not forget it okay so the next thing that we are going to do that we are going to set rules for now output world so this is the local uh, not local actually the public dns which has been uh, set by google so 8.8.8 .8 .8. if you're watching this these videos then you are familiar with this ip address so we hit enter and now you can see that it is actually sending the traffic to the output source and it is receiving it from output source as well so i press ctrl c and you can see that there is a zero percent packet loss right so right now let's set a rule for this outside world as well so we write here sudo then we write here ip tables then we write here like we are going to define rules and instead of input we are going to write here output now and now we are going to write here the destination which is essentially uh, 8.8.8.8 8 .8. and then we are going to write here the protocol ICMP essentially and then we are going to write here the functionality which is going to be let's drop the traffic okay so now if I hit enter you can see that it has executed the command successfully so now if i try to uh, you know view my ip table so uh, negative l hit enter and you can see that a rule to output has been added to the output chain has been added as well all right so now what we're gonna do we're gonna test it we write here ping 8.8.8.8 .8 and now you can see that send send message operation not permitted so it is not sending any sort of packet so you can see there is a hundred percent packets loss uh, so the traffic was basically dropped okay so now um, you know if we check our ip tables again so you see that we have negative l we have these two rules here and one in the input and one in the output so what if we want to uh, you know remove all the rules let's say you have written 10 rules in the input 10 rules in the output and you want to remove all of those rules 
So what would you do? You would write just a simple command sudo ip tables negative f or hyphen f which is for flush. So you hit enter. Okay, so I sudo there is a spelling error ip tables negative f you hit enter and you can see that it has been executed so if i clear it and i again view the ip tables negative l if i hit enter now you can see there are no rules here right the rules have been flushed so i hope you have enjoyed today's video you have learned something new this is linux and training course and i will see you in the next video